Shall we start then? Uh, today, uh, we're going to learn uh, how to sketch. Uh, this is not drawing, actually, because uh, since uh, we all are not artists, right? Uh, and we just have to. Uh, as graphic designers or uh, whatever the designers uh, that we're going to be, uh, maybe even web designers, uh, we just have to identify, identify the design elements and uh, principles that we learn as uh, in design fundamentals. So, uh, it, the skill that we are learning today is uh, not drawing, but uh, sketching to identify and interpret uh, the design elements and uh, the visuals. Right? Uh, what you see, uh, the objects and uh, all the visuals you see, how uh, you are going to personally interpret them. Okay, so it's not uh, it's not just a uh, hand skill that uh, you get inherited or something. Uh, this is not that uh, drawing, but uh, just uh, expressing yourself. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so first, we are going to uh, start. So are you ready with your uh, pens and pencils and paper? Yes, madam. OK. OK. So we're going to play something in uh, kindergarten today. Uh, I will share a picture. And you can draw them, whatever the way you like. Can you see this photograph? Uh, uh, yes, madam. Onions, OK. OK. Uh, so uh, in this picture that uh, you can start drawing, uh, can you remember the design elements that we learned? What are the design elements? Can anyone remember? Lines. Yes. Texture. Texture. Yes. What space. Space. Shapes. OK. So. Uh, not just drawing this, uh, not just uh, copying this exactly. Uh, try to identify the lines, uh, shapes, and the texture specifically in this picture. Okay, uh, with a quick sketch, uh, draw what you see in there. So, how, how can you uh, share once you are done? Uh, can you take a picture and uh, share it on our WhatsApp group? Is it easy? Uh, okay, madam. Okay. Uh, madam, are these to be only pencil sketches? No, 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 no. Never mind. Uh, don't, don't color. Uh, no need to color. Uh, can we use color sticks? Oh uh, yes. Yes, that's fine. Don't focus on color. Uh, focus on lines, uh, shapes, and textures. Uh, you can use marker pens or platinum or whatever you have. We'll stop at 9.35.
Well, madam, we don't need to draw the all all the uh, people. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't hear you, dear Charlie. We need to draw all the all this drawing, no? Ah, uh, is it no. okay a part? Ah, uh, not one by one. Ah, uh, I don't want you to uh, copy the exact thing. Ah, uh, just try to capture how they are arranged and uh, the lines and uh, shapes. We'll see what you can do uh, within. Okay, ten minutes. Okay, do you need more time? Then, uh, since we have a bit late comers also, uh, then we'll stop at nine forty then, right? Okay, madam. Okay, step. You can stop now and uh, take a picture and upload it to the WhatsApp. You can see my screen still, right? Uh, yes, madam. Okay. Yeah. Better if you can uh, do on a blank paper, but never mind. Okay. So this is what you have done. Not bad. Uh, if you are in room, uh, go outside and take a picture with with more light, and so we can see better, right? Doesn't matter. It's okay. okay. So can you see that uh, different people have seen this in different ways, right? Uh, so this is a kind of bird eye view picture that uh, quite similar to the uh, picture we have shown, similar to the photograph. So uh, this is more focused on shape uh, than lines and textures. And then, uh, yeah, uh, and Jan has uh, tried to achieve the form as well with the shading in the background. Uh, so uh, he's someone uh, looking more three D work. So this is more focused on lines and shapes. This is focused on line, shapes, and uh, the arrangement space in between. So we'll see for the same image, I'm going to give you now uh, five minutes only. OK, try to capture specifically the design elements, lines, shapes, and textures in, in five minutes, okay? Uh, just five minutes, not more than that. Uh, after five minutes, we see uh, what we have done. And uh, if you have any markers like uh, platinum or something a bit thick, uh, use it. Even a whiteboard marker uh, would do. Madam, it's not yes. really what you are telling. Okay. So, uh, from which part? Uh, I'm going to give you five minutes. Can you hear me now properly? Madam. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you five minutes to draw the same thing. Okay. Uh, and if uh, if you have any markers, or oh, uh, or even a chalk or something bit thick, you can use it rather than the pencil. Okay, platinum or something, uh, a highlight pen or something. Uh, if it is bit thick one, uh, you can draw easily. 
uh, and uh, if possible uh, use the pencils and markers and uh, use uh, more materials if you have okay uh, so you can uh, draw with pen uh, so never think of uh, erasing and uh, redoing just uh, if it is uh, you got it wrong then you can you can redraw on uh, that paper itself on top of that redraw, redraw. So that's how we sketch, okay? Uh, so within five minutes, uh, you can redo this. Uh, sharp at five minutes, uh, I'm going to stop, okay? So the same picture, Uh, so the five minutes starts now uh, and you can do it. Okay, you can stop now. So next we are going to do it in one minute. Don't start now. Okay. Uh, I will give you one minute. Again, draw it within one minute. It starts. Starts now. Next, count your own time. Uh, sharply draw it within thirty seconds. Can you do it? And uh, share both images. Take your own timer. I can't take time for 30 seconds for everybody so just uh, stop sharp at 30 seconds okay you will see the difference it's magic Try to achieve as much as possible within 30 seconds. If it's done, you can share the images now. Share the images. Check who's this. I said one. I can't recognize you. Is it Hiruni? Okay. Kishani, right? I thought you're Kishani.
I hope this is hearing me. I don't know. Hiruni, is this your drawing? John, madam. Uh, yeah. Is this uh, your drawing that I have made? Yes, madam, yes. Oh, okay. okay, then. Let's go to... Uh, your drawings. So what do you think? From here to here, from your 15 minutes drawing. We'll take a few examples. This is the 15 minute drawing by Still taking images. Okay, we have one more. Uh, because I is it uh, one minute? The one you sent now, Rikasa. No, madam. I then, think up to, up to three minutes. Ah, I didn't even ask you to work out to three minutes. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, let's see uh, Dilshani's work. So this is... Uh, how much? 15 minutes, just more than 15 minutes drawing. And this is five minutes drawing. Has done 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds. And one minute. So, what do you think that uh, what was your experience uh, when drawing for uh, 15 minutes, uh, five minutes, and 30 seconds. So how was it? Maybe if I could uh, categorize with your names, then we can do uh, We are focusing much on design elements in the reduction of time. Yes. Yes, exactly that it is. So even 30 seconds, just 30 seconds, you can capture the design elements, right? So that's how you practice your focus. I think this is much better than uh, 15 seconds drawing. Isn't it so? Don't you think that this is much better? than that uh, previous drawing. So here you have focused exactly uh, on the lines, shapes, and the space in between, and the arrangement. This is so live. Then your Than this one. And we'll see that who are not artists. Who said that? 
Pradati. This is the 15 minutes drawing by Pradati. You can't see it much properly. So look at the amount of uh, details that you have paid attention. Pradati has done five minutes, more detail, more focus on lines. I think this is it, right? Five minutes. Pradati, yeah. did you send that one minute thing? So this is Viniti's. Some some uh, have uh, uh, yeah. Some people have uh, showed up a very big progress when it comes to thirty seconds. So this is uh, 15 minutes that you could achieve Viniti. Uh, so even though it takes time, she has started uh, looking at the uh, lines, shapes, she has started. You can see, look at Viniti's five minutes draw. It's quite interesting, right? Even even you can even this is good for some graphic. It's life is there. The details more than that. Uh, Fifteen minutes uh, you have captured the details. One minute and thirty seconds. Are perfect that you can see that the shapes of the onions and how they are uh, turn into different ways different angles of the joints lines 30 seconds much better can you do it Even, uh, even this is uh, one minute. This thirty second drawing is much better. Yeah. And I have seen, yes, Niha. I have seen that Nihan uh, has started to think in a different way. This is his 15 minutes drawing. That more 3D shadings and uh, try to capture the core. Kiran, did you send the five minute drawing? I forgot that it's so hard to talk to Kiran, it's so preserved. Okay, we'll see. Yeah, this is much, uh, this has paid much more attention to the lines and the shapes that uh, can you see that uh, even in uh, 15 uh, sorry in one minute uh, the difference of lines that uh, with this angle this these lines are radiated uh, so and these small lines so with this angle it's in a different angle right uh, so these lines are different from these, the angles. Uh, 
So can you see that uh, this uh, gives more uh, idea on what you see? So I don't like this one. I think she's the only one who has paid the attention to the texture. Kishan. Did we find a 15 minutes drawing by Kishan? See? Again, that's what she achieved in 15 minutes. I think it is five minutes. Very nice. I paid attention to the textures, angles, and one minute. Even in one minute, uh, that expression is different, right? This one. So that's how uh, she sees the texture, unlike uh, all the others. See what uh, Shaba has done it. One minute. So uh, how she has drawn this. So the speed and now uh, this is a, a very good exercise that you can practice. Uh, try to uh, capture the elements of visual in a small time. That's what sketching is, right? That's what uh, brings out your expressions. So all these uh, 15 minute drawings, this is all that you have uh, tried to uh, draw better, right? Uh, that uh, this, this, uh, these uh, drawings doesn't have much expression on this one has expressions. Uh, on your uh, idea on that uh, image. Okay, so uh, Shall we do one more? Okay, I have received a few more. Viduranga Chitra Viduranga. He has used a better tape. That's what. Viduranga. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear it. Yes, we drank me, me, Mugadme, a rose part like a Matian. Huh? Mugad? Mouse city lighting. So you used it to take the picture. Very nice, beautiful. So are you drawing with the rug? And the other? Okay, it's a random. Okay, good. Good. Uh, that's uh, the next thing that uh, we are going to learn, right? It is about the materials. Uh, can you see that uh, you can see a difference in uh, Viduranga's work? I'm not sharing screen. 
మీకు స్కెచ్ పేపే కాదు విధుల అండి స్కెచ్ పేపే కాదు కదా నేను కోలి ఏ ఫో పేపే కదా అయితే కూడా ప్యాన్సిల్ ఇది okay that's the next thing that we are going to learn it's about the materials right so you can see that uh, his drawing is bit different because he has uh, used a soft pencil and a clean paper so it makes and he has uh, taken a better picture so that's what it makes different so that's the next thing that we are going to learn uh it is about the materials uh that uh, you can use uh when drawing so uh, so uh, are you aware that uh, have you seen that uh, there are different pencils uh, that are used for drawing you may have uh, see uh, i don't have much i'm not a actually i'm not an artist so but i will uh, show you a uh, few um so uh, have you seen that uh, check on your pencil that is a mark uh, there is a mark on your pencils uh, which says a number can you see on camera so normally there's a number in your pencils here uh, it's normally the one we are using uh, in writing is uh, called hb can you find uh, that number in your pencil Yes, yes yes so uh, uh the this uh, letter h uh, and b is used for uh, the hardness and the color of the pencil okay so uh, in drawing we have uh, pencils uh, from this uh, b numbers so b means black how black that pencil is okay so h means for the hardness so this normal pencil you are using is hb so it's hard black uh, black number 1 the second black is 2b third black is 3b likewise you have up to i have seen up to 9b uh, uh, i'm not sure whether they have uh, higher than that so uh, when the uh, b number is higher the color gets darker okay and the uh, tip is also a uh, bit wider this is a uh, uh, 6b pencil uh, these are pencils that uh, have this one is 8b so you can see that the uh, tip is a uh, very white okay and this uh, color uh, and this uh, b number without h uh, b number pencils are very soft uh, you can uh, very easily color with this pencil uh, those who have done uh, drawing may know but uh, just try out uh, these are uh, always available in any uh, stationery shop uh, so you can uh, easily draw uh, with those pencils so that's for drawing uh, even even it's uh, even for quick sketching you can use this uh, pencils with higher numbers and uh, this hb pencil is uh, used for uh, normally writing or uh, just detailing with lighter shades uh, and when you want to mark 
hard. That uh, tip is hard uh, in uh, HB pencil. Okay. Uh, I'm really worried that I have to uh, share this online uh, because you won't get chance to experience this uh, and it's hard to learn drawing through the camera right? but this covid has left no choice for us okay and then uh what else and uh, especially in uh in design so this is not art this is design they're using sketches so it is called sketching not drawing so sketching is a very quick thing to identify uh, the design uh, elements and how you look at things and how you see things. Okay. So for those uh, sketching, uh, we are using uh, most of the time these uh, pencils and uh, different pens, especially uh, markers. Okay. Uh, and when it comes to pens, and uh, that uh, colors of the pencils, uh, the quality is different from brand to brand. Uh, Stedler is a good uh, brand uh, for pens and pencils. Uh, and uh, it's a bit expensive, but uh, there are uh, some uh, much cheaper, uh, but uh, good uh, quality ones also. And uh, so the uh, for the pens uh, when it comes to pens uh, uh, and one thing i want to uh, mention and i mentioned it before as well in sketching you don't uh, erase it and uh, redraw right since it's quick yeah, you may have experienced it uh, when you're drawing in uh, one minute and 30 seconds uh, you don't have to uh, erase and redraw uh, to get better pictures you can redraw on your sketch itself okay uh, and uh, yes uh, in uh, there are fine tips uh, things like these uh, that have a uh, disease uh, 0.2 millimeters this is 0.1 millimeters uh, and point Zero five millimeters, point three millimeters, uh, and I had one of uh, two millimeter thing. So uh, with these pens, also uh, you can uh, get uh, good uh, points. Uh, it it it's normally like uh, the gel pen that you are using and uh, but the tips are very fine so uh, these are called fine line markers to draw uh, very fine lines and to detail the drawings you can use these and even the pens uh, normal pens you are using uh, you can now uh, use uh, them also differently normal ballpoint uh, pen uh, that you're using even these pens that you can uh, use for drawings and sometimes have you seen uh, some pens like these uh, that have a bit larger tip so those also can be used in uh, sketching and uh, we have these uh, color pens and you may have these type of that uh, glittery color pens, uh, those even you can use in sketching. Uh, I don't have much big tip marker, even these whiteboard markers, uh, you can use in sketching. And sometimes in uh, uh, shops, uh, normal, uh, stationary shops uh, that uh, 
you can find these type of uh, epigram type of markers that you can uh, use for drawing and uh, some are specially made for uh, sketching this is a brown marker a nice color that i got this one uh, so sometimes you can uh, they are made for uh, drawing but uh, even some uh, some very cheap platinum also uh, that you can uh, use for your work and again uh, have you heard that uh, this is a calligraphy pen calligraphy pen uh, it has a flat tip like in your uh, highlighter okay with this flat tip that you can uh, do uh, this lettering this is most of the time used for lettering i will uh, i don't know how to show this right uh, like this uh, you can uh, use that uh, flat tip to uh, draw. Uh, it is called a calligraphy pen because it's uh, used for lettering. It's all again a nice. A, uh, we get uh, very small tips uh, like these also in calligraphy, unlike that uh, highlighter large tip uh, what else and sketching yeah most of the time uh, we are not using much uh, art materials like uh, watercolor uh, oil paints like uh, that kind of uh, art materials which takes time uh, for quick sketching you can uh, color your paintings or sketches with these uh, materials also but uh, but these uh, color pencils normal color pencils uh, and the other thing is uh, markers like uh, copic there is a brand called copic that's uh, i will send you uh, these brand names uh, and a list uh, so if you are interested you can find it uh, this is a bit expensive but uh, it has uh, this is the professional uh, marker uh, type uh, normally used in uh, earlier in graphic designing and uh, today in uh, sketching architectural drawings fashion sketches, uh, those type of uh, sketching, uh, we are using uh, this uh, markers. So this markers has a, a tip very soft that you, this is, so the, this one bends with the, uh, see it's like watercolor, it bends with the, uh, paper like a brush so that that is called a, a brush tip and here it has a wider tip uh, like in calligraphy that you can uh, put the colors on and uh, this is also a marker like that that uh, it is like watercolor that uh, it's unlike platinum uh, that with the pressure that you add it it, it gives a, a different uh, shape so uh, these markers are uh, normally available in uh, art shops and uh, there are a few uh, places that you can uh, buy this stuff also uh, like sakura uh, is a 
place for uh, this art materials and stationery and there's another one place uh, in uh, in majestic city there's a um, shop called tin house in there also you can find this um, and, um, and uh, there are uh, places near university of monitor uh, that uh, since uh, it has a lot of uh, design um, courses there uh, there's a small shop uh, that they're selling these type of uh, markers uh, and even cheaper versions of uh, those pens and pencils that, that we can use uh, uh, i forgot that one more thing this is also you can find in uh, some some art shops uh, it's a white pencil that is also interesting you can draw uh, darker um, papers so it's like a gel pen uh, in white okay that are the materials uh, that i wanted to share and i i think you know uh, more on now uh, watercolor oil painting and uh, those things that you are more aware uh, and the other thing that uh, you have to uh, know about uh, materials is that they gives a different uh, effect uh, a different feeling uh, that you can you uh, you can use uh, to express your ideas in on paper like uh, in watercolor it gives a very soft feathery uh, feeling uh, in watercolor uh, like when you're using um, oil painting it's a bit thick uh, and you can use uh, and even uh, poster paint and emulsion uh, normal rubber paint that we are uh, using to paint houses that's also uh, can be used in your drawings uh, they, you can use uh, thick layers of that uh, and I wanted to uh, mention that uh, also uh, when you work in uh, 2D graphics softwares like uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, Corel Draw, uh, in softwares like that, uh, you you get that uh, brushes, right? Uh, uh, that uh, calligraphy pen. So so you have to. Uh, you, it's better if you know what is a calligraphy pen so you can use it effectively in your digital work as well and uh, one more thing is charcoal i don't have a charcoal pencil with me uh, now uh, charcoal is uh, you may have seen uh, charcoal paintings paintings and drawings uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's like the same uh, that coal that you find with uh, that wooden coal. Uh, so um, that uh, charcoal gives a very uh, rough texture. That there are sticks uh, made from that uh, soft uh, wooden coal also. Uh, like uh, and we have pencils of uh, charcoal uh, so you know that anguru effect you can use that uh, in your graphic uh, when you are doing uh, working on your screen um, what else any other materials you know that uh, you want to share with the class and discuss? Uh, even though you don't have any of these, uh, uh, the paint, uh, pastels and uh, 
crayons that we use in child uh, as children. Uh, in those pastels also, uh, you may have seen when uh, buying uh, pastel in a child uh, that uh, there are I know three types uh, oil pastels are there that it's oily uh, and uh, it uh, blends uh, well uh, and the other one is normal pastel uh, that uh, less oily um, and uh, there are wax pastels also that uh, it's wax is mixed, mixed uh, in that uh, as an ingredient and it, it gives a different uh, feeling like uh, it's not uh, oily and uh, it don't get smudged so wax pastels are also there so the other thing is uh, the base paper that you're using there are sketch papers uh, made for especially for watercolor uh, and uh, other materials uh, but uh, it's only in watercolor that we know that paper get wet so uh, so we can't uh, use any paper for watercolor but uh, it's uh, always it's uh, not uh, that uh, conventional, that uh, you don't have to use uh, the con conventional materials all the time. Uh, you can uh, use uh, different papers like that you find in, uh, in your like garbage. Uh, so we could have practiced these if, uh, if we get a chance do a workshop uh, so again uh, again you can uh, uh, I mean that uh, base material uh, that uh, sketch paper that you're using uh, is also uh, it's a different feel and you can express yourself uh, with that uh, base material as well okay so that's what I have to uh, tell in words. So, shall we try drawing uh, one more picture? Okay, madam. Okay, I selected one from your the picture. Actually, I don't have much to teach you uh, in drawing uh, because you all have uh, captured it well, really well. Maybe you think that, uh, maybe it's because you think that you're not artist. Uh, that's a really good thing um, that you can express yourself. Uh, when you learn uh, proper drawing, uh, sometimes it uh, it uh, takes you a little back uh, from expressing yourself. So just be free and uh, just play with what you have. Uh, I think that uh, I I really like that. Uh, was it Dini? Yes, uh, she has played uh, drawn with a thick marker. Mm. So and I really, I really like Shaba's drawings also. I could show you them. Okay, we'll move to the next one. Let me learn a little more. This is a picture that you can see, right? 
Yes, madam. Thank you, Deshani, for responding all the time. Uh, this is a picture that you have taken uh, to express lines. Who took this? Beautiful. So, you do need. Okay, uh, you can draw this now. Uh, just take around five minutes. So, I'm not uh, going to do the same thing again. So, uh, this one, try to. Uh, Try not to take a lot of time, just uh, take around five minutes and draw this. Uh, it doesn't matter. I took this one because it has a lot of details. Uh, I don't mind where you focused on this. Okay, you can draw the lines or uh, if you are interested in those details on that flower, you can draw them. Oh, if you are interested in those uh, that uh, that uh, feathery lines part only, then and then you can draw this. Or if you are uh, if you like to draw the whole thing with the leaves and all, then you can draw that. So it's up to you. Uh, just take uh, not more than. Five to six minutes. Uh, you can uh, use colors if you have. If not, uh, use the pens and pencils and uh, draw this. Okay. Uh, she has uh, tried to capture the shapes of the whole thing. Uh, is it? It is Deepika, right? Yes, madam. Okay, okay. Uh, she has tried to capture the shapes. Uh, that's what she has focused on. Uh, but uh, I think you can do better in a lesser time. Your previous drawings are much better. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, uh, again, she has uh, tried to capture the shapes, uh, and uh, that's. Uh, can you see that uh, uh, she has more focused on uh, composition here? And can you see that uh, we didn't see this much of petals in that picture, right? But but that's how she expressed it. And. It looks nice because uh, she has used uh, this pastel or something uh, to draw. Yeah, a nice one. Who's this? Viniti. Can you see that uh, it, this gives more uh, expression, like the texture here, uh, the texture beneath, uh, the shapes and form it rises up the layers uh, of this sketch uh, it's really interesting uh, what do you think that uh, why it makes interesting uh, is it interesting to you all as well or is it only me who sees that that's interesting So, so is it only me? Uh, yes, madam. It is interesting. It is interesting. So, can you uh, can you suggest uh, why it looks nice? The reasons in terms of can can you analyze it uh, with the design elements that we learned? Design elements and the principles as well.
This is how you develop your eyes on visuals. Your visual sense. Can you see uh, that this is something different? Like uh, Deepika has uh, taken this, uh, the whole thing into a 2D format, which is also interesting. So it is her expression. I know that uh, maybe uh, she couldn't uh, capture, couldn't get the right materials to uh, draw what she uh, has. And I know that these colors are not uh, what she wanted. Uh, but uh, but with the uh, uh, with the available material, but uh, look at the technique that she has uh, taken. Quite different from what Vinity has done. And that's so that she has taken the whole thing into a 2D plane that uh, the leaves and the petals that uh, that is a different arrangement of those elements. This is again uh, a lot more on composition and it's nice uh, because of the composition and uh, it uh, it bit, uh, it's bit uh, in between of uh, 2D and uh, 3D4. Like uh, she gives kind of uh, a look here. Uh, again, arrangement of a 2D uh, form. So it is more about composition and this one. Yeah. Um, don't you see, see the layers of this uh, drawing? That she has used different layers to give a 3D mood for that. It's uh, that 3D thing doesn't come in uh, light and shade always. But uh, with here, with the materials that she has used, uh, she has uh, taken now uh, into a different expression and and uh, the layers i really like and uh, the way she has uh, expressed uh, and started to see things okay right? so it is a lot of uh, that what do you call uh, so a lot of lines around a texture here and another petals beneath and a hard uh, particle uh, on the top. So really interesting. This is also nice. Who's this? Trishan, yes. Uh, a quite different angle, right? That uh, the form is taken out. Better if we could uh, see this in a, a darker, color, uh, which would be much more visible. Uh, but look at the uh, form that she has uh, worked with. A quite different expression, right? Which is really beautiful. That uh, a total different arrangement this is what actually I think what Deepika has also uh, tried to do, and uh, yeah, she has uh, she has seen this only as a, a flower and leaves. So that's her perception. A nice composition of a flower and leaves. So that's what she has taken forward. Beautiful. This is more focus on detail. Is it same or sometimes this is the way she did it? More focused on detail, uh, just forget the background and uh, this uh, part is highlighted. 
quite different way. Again, Shaba. Again, uh, it's more focused on uh, the composition of uh, lines, shapes, and textures also. I think uh, better if we rotate this. Is this what you wanted to share? This is the original quotation, uh, I guess. And uh, I really like the three lines that she has drawn. It looks really free, right? Uh, this is not the same that in the picture. There's a different expression. Again, this is, uh, uh, she could have uh, done better. She could have done better with better colors. Uh, maybe uh, this is what's available, but uh, I really like the way you have uh, colored this, uh, expressed this, and uh, the that uh, you have add some solidity to uh, this part, and that uh, loosen dots for the uh, that texture around, and again uh, a different texture, and again a different texture, different type of lines, and surrounded with these uh, odd shapes, a really nice expression. So this is what is sketching. Yeah, Shashikara. Yes, a very nice uh, perspective. So uh, this is beautiful that uh, she has uh, taken time to uh, give the idea of layers. And uh, here I feel that a bit uh, Shashikala is a bit restricted to uh, uh, draw the same thing that you see. Isn't that so? So uh, you can, uh, with the skill you have, uh, do uh, highlight and uh, the drawing, uh, the, the, I think you have some, have, have some hand skill in drawing. So with this, uh, you can uh, give more expression to this. But it's really nice uh, in when it comes to details. Beautiful. Yeah, Yes. Dian, do I need to rotate this? I think so. I really like this composition, though, but uh, I think your intention was to look at it. Look like this, right? Yeah. yeah. Again, uh, she, uh, Gihan has uh, paid attention to more into the whole picture, I think. Uh, better if you paid more attention. I like the shapes you have captured, but uh, better if you uh, pay more attention to the design elements. But uh, you can do better. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, that's the problem with the time that you got time to better work in uh, very quick sketches. That's there you can. Oh, it's mine. Uh, so this is the quick sketch I've done. I was interested in this uh, solid part, uh, and uh, I think someone else has done it also. Uh, and the texture with uh, the loosened, uh, beautiful lines it has and a different type of lines and another type of lines and the petals beneath. Uh, again, a different type of lines. That's what I was interested in, in that picture. I think we check this. Krishan, yes, we discussed it. The, yeah. okay. Yes. 
Yes, very interesting. Can you see now that, uh, that uh, different people uh, look at the same thing in so many different ways? If you see into this, And this one, both of them are uh, beautiful in two different ways, right? Very interesting. Uh, better try uh, quick sketches to uh, identify the uh, elements. That way it gives more life more uh, idea or expression to your work. Okay, that's it. Um, shall we wind up today or do you like to draw a few more? I have uh, 15 minutes more. Uh, can you? <laughs> Can you work on this as well? Just 15 minutes. Uh, take just uh, one minute to uh, draw a texture for, from this picture. So we are done with uh, that. So uh, until now that uh, we have focused on uh, objects try to draw uh, a texture from this so here you don't have to think of the composition you don't have to think of the shapes just try to create a texture from your work, from the picture that shown here. So next time you're working on a Photoshop or Illustrator for a draw or something in your 2D graphics software, uh, check the effects they have. Uh, like watercolor, oil paint, uh, charcoal. Likewise, uh, check the uh, effects they have and the brushes and uh, check uh, how they really look like. Those. Yes, good. You have paid attention on the lines you can see to make a texture. So that's good. Again here, she has done um, again. Can you see it now? Still, you are focusing much more attention on the shapes and lines uh, than the texture. So the shape here uh, has captured your eye. Isn't that so? Yes, most of your uh, eyes have captured uh, the shape and lines. So again here, she has worked a little more on uh, texture. Do you see what? Also, say done, have done the same. Next, we do on the
so most of you have focused on uh, the shape still so how should we uh, capture the uh, textures okay i will i will go into that so this is the picture you have got first thing uh, captured your eyes is this uh, shape even that in that shape uh, you can create uh, more uh, even though it's a shape that uh, comes into your eye uh, think of the texture that it gives right uh, to capture the texture you can think of the patches it has uh, the dark and uh, light areas uh, so just forget about the whole uh, shape of this lock and start working on uh, the flat image uh, that you see that uh, flat color patches uh, again the word is texture yeah uh texture that you see so here uh, i will draw you can uh, if you think of this part it is a set of lines some of you have uh, tried it uh, and it it is uh, repeating uh, not evenly so it is a set of lines that you can draw those set of lines like this okay then it is much darker cracks over there so you can slightly work on those cracks i think the uh, so it's the tracks that uh, then you want to uh, represent so it has then you can see what else it has this uh, fill this you just fill the it with the lines and then uh, these cracks you can represent those cracks and uh, it has some kind of dots here that uh, you can work on detail how the lines goes uh, and uh, there are uh, some spots type of uh, dots and how they are spreaded and the dark uh, areas in here now we can uh, So the shapes, the cracks, that's how you are. Uh, yes, dear Shani has done well in that. Better if you are, uh, better if you, yeah, this is kind of more a texture. Yeah. yeah, I know it's because of the colors you have to use, right? Look at this. But better, it is more about texture, and uh, this is more uh, better than uh, the previous one. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to explain is you can forget about this shape of the lock. Okay, so then you get a texture. So uh, you can uh, use these brush strokes. Uh, in a way that uh, yes, this is good. Uh, that is mine. Yeah, in a way that uh, to represent these uh, lines. And again, you can uh, do some patches. It's better if you can do it this. Do this with the collage, right? 
uh, it is like a kind of scrap papers, right? So uh, use a thick material to uh, represent these parts. So better if you just forget this line forever and try creating this texture. So can you do it at home? Uh, actually, if you find something and uh, better if you find some collage, uh, scrap papers and uh, whatever this, this charcoal or anything uh, and try creating a texture and uh, this texture this one try creating this one and uh, some other texture that uh, you would like so send me with the picture so this is uh, not essential if you are interested because i missed uh, doing this today so okay it's 12 so we have to stop is the toilet done so we have to stop for today uh, i hope you enjoyed drawing and uh, the most uh, important thing i wanted to say you is uh, sketching is to develop your eyes on uh, understanding visuals you see and uh, express yourself through visuals uh, in any visual media. So uh, as people who are working with multimedia, it's better you uh, uh, train your eyes on visuals. Uh, the next thing is that uh, uh, drawing art uh, is not needed to be uh, teach by anybody. So it, you already have it in, in yourself. Uh, so it's up to you to uh, express yourself. So it doesn't matter whether you have the hand, hand skills or not, uh, you can practice it. Uh, it's, it's one thing. So uh, everybody doesn't have to be painters, but everybody can draw. So, and uh, yeah, and then it's, up to the materials that you are using so when we get a chance uh, it's better you explore more materials uh, so if i get anything else uh, to uh, practice uh, to give you to practice uh, i will give you uh, so this is uh, I could think of when uh, doing this online. So, if there are any, that is one exercise uh, of uh, doing uh, that uh, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, uh, 1 minute, and 30 seconds, and even you can try it in 10 seconds. That is one thing you can practice uh, in developing your uh, visual eye. So, thank you so much for cooperating with me today. We'll see uh, next week what we can do. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you, madam.